Family members, they are upset over the media coverage the young murder suspects are now receiving. WWT 6 News reporter John Chapman talked to his family in Minnesota. They insist that Jarrell and all of his brothers and sisters are victims. They say these kids never had a chance. We won't know exactly what happened here until the case goes to trial. Police say two men in their 30s were shot. One was killed. Police say two teenagers, both with guns, are involved and a 12-year-old boy. A 12-year-old boy who had a gun. A 12-year-old boy who somehow ran to Minnesota when police arrested his brother, 17-year-old Jamar Milton, and 15-year-old Shantavius Primes Willis. Diane Moss lives in Minneapolis. She is the aunt of the two Milton brothers. And she said she did see 12-year-old Jarrell in Minneapolis the day before police picked him up. He just hugged me. He just hugged me. He held me. He just hugged me. I didn't ask him no question, and he didn't tell me anything. He just held me. The boy is afraid. He's scared. And and he kind of looked like he was just dazed, like he, like he he ain't there. He just, he's a baby. He's a baby in a messed up world. Diane says the boy's world is messed up because he and his siblings and their mother are victims, victims of their environment and a system that let all of them fall through the cracks. The grandmother, as you, if you, you know, she, she was on drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She never had it. She never was there for her daughter. She loved her daughter, don't get me wrong. Right. She loved her to death, but she had a problem herself. They grew up in a, in, in a neighborhood that was infested with drugs and crime, and that's all they, they, they grew up around all that. They never had a chance. Diane is also critical of the media, especially for the way she says we portray the victims. Right. I have compassion for the, the family that lost them, right. but they don't, don't portray them as if they were so perfect. They were selling drugs to babies, according to what the media says. According to prosecutors, the two victims were set up, called to Miller Park to sell marijuana. You think they're not victims? When these men that were killed and injured should have been coaching them and directing them on the right path? Diane says someone should have stepped in before it came to this. Now she says people are just pointing fingers, <laughs> blaming those who she says are victims. With photographer Mike Clues, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.